Hey guys, this is Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and this is the second video in a set of videos that we're doing on how to draft a basic, real, real bare bones, basic topo in AutoCAD Civil 3D. So in the last video, we exported the points from Trimble Business Center, and then we imported the point file after a little bit of troubleshooting, and so we've got our points in the drawing now. And so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go in and we're going to just clean up the display of these points a little bit. So we're going to change the size of the marker and the label. And then we're going to do some edits to these styles. This is a horrible, hideous font that doesn't match my, my company font standard. And we're going to tweak these labels a little bit to, to make it work a little better for the client. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is, is we're going to change the scale of the drawing. So one of the things that, that's cool about AutoCAD Civil 3D, or can be cool, can also be a headache, but uh, one of the things that can be cool is that most of the objects in the drawing will automatically scale up or down in size according to kind of a universal scale that they set to the drawing. So if you're if you're not a civil 3D user, if you're just a regular AutoCAD user, that, that'll be a little bit different from what you're used to. But the way you control that scale is right down here in this uh, little, uh, little toolbar down here. And they've got this box here where you can change what's called the annotation scale, okay? And so if a label is annotative, which these, these point labels are annotative by default, when you change this size, the, the label size will change. So I know for this job, I'm probably going to be at a one inch equals 10 feet scale, maybe a one inch equals 20, but I, I, it's always better to go a little bit lower. So you can see when I change that to one inch equals 10, those labels automatically shrink. Now we still have some overlap. Okay. And I'll go in and show you how to do that, how to fix that problem. Okay. In a little bit, but we've got our, our labels now are appropriately, appropriately sized for the scale of the, of the drawing that we know we, we want to deliver to the client. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I just want to go in and, and change the style of these labels. Okay, so if you grab a, a object here, you just select it with your mouse, and you have your properties dialog pulled up. If you come down here, it tells you we've got a Kogo point, and then if you look, you can see it's using the default styles. Okay, and so what I want to do actually is we want to change that style. To a, we want to change that to a different style for all the points, and then we want to edit the styles to change this font. Okay, and let me show you how to pull up that properties dialog. If, if you select your point with a left click and then right click over the point, you can pull up this context menu or this pop up menu and go to properties. That'll show you what that is. Okay, all right. So, what I want to do is I want to go over here. Let me close this to show you how to open it. If you got your menu bar up and you go to general tool space, this opens your tool space. You spend a lot of time in here in Civil 3D usually, okay? And there's two main tabs you're going to be in. You're going to be in your Prospector tab and your Settings tab. Okay, we're going to go over to the Settings tab, okay? And actually, no, I'm sorry. We're going to start in the Prospector tab. So right here, the second item, second node in your tree is your point groups, okay? You can see the point group we created here on the import. And we've got this other point group called All Points, okay? This is a default point group that comes with AutoCAD Civil 3D, and it includes all the points in the drawing. So what I want to do is I want to edit this point group. Okay, to change the style. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the properties. You can see the, the point style is set to basic 2D. And I want to set the point label style as well. Okay, and so what I want to do on this particular label style right now is I want to set it to, let's see. Right now I'm going to set it to point number and full description. Okay, and you can see when I hit apply, hit OK. Okay, those didn't change. So the reason those didn't change is because this point group is not at the top. Okay, so this order that you see here um, controls the display properties. So because all points is at the bottom, the the settings in this topo field survey point group are overriding what's in the all points. That's not what we want. So we're going to right click on point groups and go to properties. And we're just going to bump all points up above topo field and hit apply. Okay, and then hit OK. And you can see as soon as I do that, that display changes now, right? Because all points is on top of topo field survey. And so I've got the point number now and just the description. So we got rid of the elevation. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to change the font on that style. Okay, so I'm going to go um, <clears throat> go back in, grab that point group, all points, go to properties. And I just want to see what style am I using for my label. So it's this point number and full description style. Okay, so we want to edit that. And there's two ways you can do it. You can just click right here and it'll take you into that edit dialog. Okay, but I'm going to show you the other way to get to it. If you go to your settings tab, point, drop down point, and then drop down label styles. Okay, so the point style is your marker. We want the label style right here. Okay, and then we're going to find that style that we're using, which is point number and full description. 
We're going to right click on that and say edit. Okay. And then we're going to go over to general, this general tab, and we're going to choose this text style. Okay. And so that's not what we want. And my company, we're using simplex. Okay. So we'll select simplex and then we'll hit apply. And you can see now the, the text style of those points is of all those point labels have changed. Okay. And it's already looking better. It's way better than that other font we had chosen. Okay. All right. So the next thing I want to do now is I want to take all of my ground shots. Okay. So that's these top of slope shots and any of these shots that say ground shot or grade break. And I want to put those in a, a point group. So we're, all we see is um, the elevation and no, and no point number. So I want to create a style that basically looks like a spot elevation in a on a topo map if you've seen those, okay? So the way we're going to do that is we're going to come over here to the label styles and we're going to say make a new label style, okay? And we're going to call this uh, spot elevation, okay? Spot elevation's label style, okay? And then we're going to go to general. Sorry, we're going to go to the layout tab here. And what I want to do is I want to get rid of the point number and I want to adjust these two labels so that I only have the elevation and the description of the point. Okay. So you can see from my drop down list here, it's given me the three components that make up this label. I'm going to choose the point number component and I'm just going to hit this pinkish colored X here to delete that. And you can see as soon as I do that, it's gone out of the preview. Now we could just leave it like that, but it looks a little funky now with, uh, because these labels aren't properly centered on the X. So I want to change those. So I'm going to, take the point elevation here and I'm going to adjust this Y offset. Okay. And this is in fractions of an inch based on your scale. Okay. So because I'm at a one inch equals 10 feet, if I want to move it one foot, I'm going to put in a 10th of an inch here. Okay. And so all I want to do is center these two labels on this point. And so I'm just going to try some values here that play around with those values. Okay. So it looks like a value of a 10th of an inch is going to center those up the way I want. Okay, so I'm going to hit apply and hit OK. Now, you're not going to have any changes yet in your actual display of your points because all we did was create a style. We haven't assigned it to any points or any point groups. Okay, now I will mention you can grab a point here and override the style right here in this these, two, these couple of options here in the properties dialog. Don't ever do that. <laughs> you always, almost always, 98% of the time you want your, your point marker style and labor, label style to be applied by a point group. So we're going to go back to Prospector now and we're going to make a new point group and we're just going to call this point group Spot Elevations. Okay. okay, and what we're going to do here is we're going to tell it use the new point label style we created called Spot Elevations. Okay, and we want to include in that and this is this is where the magic happens. I'm going to say I want you to include any description that has ground shot, okay, top or toe. Okay, and I'm using that asterisk wild card. I'm going to hit apply. Now, if I do that right, when I go over to my point list, I'll have a whole set of shots here, okay? Okay, which is what we want. So now I've selected all the points that have that as a description. And you'll notice when I, as soon as I did that, created that point group and applied that style now, these changed, right? So now they look a little more like a spot elevation. Okay, we've got the elevation and then we've got the uh, description here. Now there's a couple more changes I wanna make to this style. So we're gonna go back into the settings. Okay, we're gonna grab that label style, select it here, and we're gonna edit it. Okay, and the first thing I want to do, because those, I know on this topo, those are dirt shots, right? I don't want to show those to the nearest hundredth of a foot. Okay, so I'm going to come in here to our point elevation, and I'm going to grab right here where it says contents. I'm going to hit that little ellipsis, and I'm going to delete the content that's in there. Okay, and I'm going to leave this on point elevation, but I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to change the precision to a tenth of a foot. I'm going to reinsert that text. Okay, and I also like to add the little foot symbol after. I'm going to hit OK. Gives us a nice preview there. When we hit Apply, you're going to see now I've got all those dirt shots around to the nearest tenth. That makes me feel a lot better. Okay. Now we got one more change to do here to this style to make it uh, more appropriate. 
for uh, spot elevation style, okay? And uh, we'll do that. So we're gonna edit that style again. Actually, this time what we need to do is we need to edit the marker. I wanna change that marker so the spots stand out from the other points in the drawing, okay? So to do that, that's not actually the label style, that's the point marker style, okay, or the point style, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna make a new point style, okay? I'm gonna call it spot elevation. Spot elevations, just like we did the label. Okay, and then the, on the marker, I'm gonna choose this plus here, okay, because I want it to be a little bit different. Okay, and I'm gonna just say, okay, right? So now, again, we've created that style, but it hasn't been applied yet to the drawing. To do that, we're gonna go to the prospector. We're gonna pull up the properties for the spot elevations group. And on the point style here, we're gonna choose that new marker style, point marker style we made, spot elevations, and hit apply, okay? So now you can see I've got something a little bit different. Now, as soon as I do that, I realize that plus is way too big. So let's go back to our settings and we'll adjust that. Uh, that plus is just way too big. So I'm gonna knock that in half, okay? So we're gonna say 500 of an inch. That looks a little better, okay? So now I can automatically see all my dirt shots that we took in the topo, okay? And they're, they're standing out visually and they're rounded to the nearest tenth. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. I like how that looks. Okay. Now I will, I'll just point out, as we mentioned before, if you go back to the prospector tab and we pull up the properties and I move spot elevations below all points, that styling is going to change again, right? Because now it's being overridden by all points. So that's not what we want. So we're going to keep spot elevations above the all points. So that styling is applied. Okay. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do, and then we'll end the video is now that I have these spots, lined out the way I want. What I want to do is I just want to come in here and grab these so there's no overlap. Okay, so I'm going to come in where I've got these spot elevations. I'm going to select that label and I'll get this little square and diamond. Don't grab the diamond, grab the square and then you can just drag out that drag out that that label and it'll it'll automatically give you a little leader there. So I'm going to just do that now wherever these spot elevations are being overlapped by another label. Okay, those all look good. This one's got a little bit of an overlap, so we'll pull it out. Okay, and you can pull those to the left or the right. Okay. And we'll have some more dragging of labels to do as we move through this topo. Okay. All right. So that looks good. Now, one final change I want to make here. Um, since I'm, I'm working with a client, this is the first time we've worked with this client. As I mentioned, their CAD capabilities are fairly basic. I'm going to try and get rid of all the abbreviations in this drawing because they're not going to know what GS means, okay? But I don't have to go in and hand edit that value. Okay, you can do that in the CSV, okay? But I, I don't want to do that. So the way we're going to do that is uh, we're going to do that with a description key. So let's see if we can do that here in a couple minutes before we end the, end the video. Uh, let's see here. All right, so we've got this value here. This uh, So if we go into the prospector under points, we can see the description key set. Somebody's created here a guided description key set in here, which is great. That's going to save us some time. And so I'm going to show you this little trick here. We're going to go down to the ground shot code. Okay. Okay, which it, look, it looks like we don't have a ground shot code in our description key set which is all right. So I'm gonna edit the keys, okay? And I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna add a key for ground shot. Okay, if I can figure out how to do that. So we'll say new key, okay? And right here where it says new, we're gonna type in GS with an asterisk. So that's gonna select all of the that's going to select all the ground shots. Okay. And now right here where it has, it'll have a, let's see, I'm trying to find it. Oop, 
what it'll do is it will allow us to overwrite the description. Oh, it's right here under format. So if it has this dollar sign asterisk, it's going to take whatever's in the description. I'm going to change that to just say ground asterisk with a space. Let's see if that does what we want. Okay. And then we're going to say we want to apply those description keys. So let's see if it works here. We're going to grab this point, select that point and say apply description keys and you can see it changed to ground. It actually did a ground with a space and an asterisk, okay, which is not what I want. So let's go in. We'll edit that key one more time. So I'm going to find it here in my list. Actually, we need to edit, say edit, right click on that, say edit keys, grab that out of the list. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so I'm going to just get rid of that space and asterisk. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, when I grab this point, I'm going to say select similar. And I'm going to then, so it's just selected all those ground shot points. And then I'm going to right click on it again and say apply description keys. And now those all, all change to ground. Okay, so we just basically got rid of that abbreviation now, which will help the client. Okay, so that's perfect. That's exactly what I want those spot elevations to look like in this drawing. All right, so I'm way over. I'm at 17 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and stop this video. And in the next video, we're going to come in and we'll start um, editing these other labels. We'll get rid of other abbreviations. We'll, we'll drag the labels out. So this just looks a little more presentable to the client. Okay. So thanks for watching guys. And, and I hope you catch the next video as we're working on this topo.